Okay. Welcome everybody. First, no, last Tuesday of the month, right before Thanksgiving. And I'm really excited because Melissa Falco, who I love dearly, and I am learning so much from her about how she's incredibly generous and how she gifts and how she sees the world to create more inspiration. Seriously, Melissa, you really make a difference in my life and I am learning all the time. And so I'm going to turn this over to Melissa because that's what it's about tonight. But I also, before we get there, um, I just am so grateful for my team, for all of you, for every single one of you, for however, whatever part you play, whether it's large, whether it's small, whether it's just a few words of encouragement that, give you, that you give me, or whether it's my text reminding me to get something done. I just love everybody. So I'm going to turn this over to Melissa, who is one of the biggest lovers I know. She really is. She's just amazing. And for those of you that don't know her and don't know all of the incredible she, gifts she brings to this party, um, get to know her better because she's got lots of gifts for all of us. So I'm turning this over to you, Melissa. Thank you so much and welcome everybody. I'm super excited for tonight. So, um, you know, it really, this is like the perfect haul and my team totally knows that, that we just, I really feel like the world needs more of what we have to offer in such a huge way. And some of that has to do with our product and our business experience, but so much of it has to do with us. You know, just we get to surround ourselves with some of the most uplifting, amazing people that I've ever met in my life in one place, right? And so what if, I just want to challenge you guys, what if we all made the decision tonight to play full out so that we turn that light all the way up so that we shined so bright? Think about what an impact it could make on our world, right? Like what if? So let's just start in that place, really visualizing that for your own self and think about co collectively how that could really impact everybody, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, Nikki's got this on spotlight, which is good. I'm gonna turn it to- You know what I'm gonna do real quick here? I am gonna mute everybody out. And before I do, I just realized I, I put it in the chat, but I just have to remind everybody, Melissa's not only a heat NMD, but she was just nominated for 12 club with another five NMDs of the year. That is such an amazing honor. Team, I want everybody to unmute themselves for one second and really cheer for Melissa. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, so I'm gonna mute everybody else now. So hang on. Um, and so you're going to have to unmute yourself, Melissa. Okay. I'm unmuted. And Perfect. I'm going to go and put you guys into gallery so I can see all of you. If it'll let me. Oh, it should let you, Melissa. I've got it on speaker view, but you should be okay. able to put it on gallery. Okay, perfect. Okay, because I'm going to have you guys hold up some stuff. So for those of you who got the messages, I made a message earlier. Um, I just asked that everybody bring something to write with. So hopefully you have a blank piece of paper. Okay, and something to write with. And for those creative types, you're gonna want some colorful stuff to use too, okay? So um, I was a teacher, so bear with me, okay? I like to build and stack on ideas. So the first thing we're gonna do, all of us, is we're gonna look at our paper and we're gonna go about uh, three inches from the, let's say three or four inches, four inches from the bottom and draw a line across. And I'm gonna hold it up to show you what I mean, okay? Can you see that line? Okay, so you have more room on the top than you do at the bottom, okay? That's where we're going to start. Okay, I want you to think about this line as your invis invisible barrier, okay? We all put these invisible barriers up inside of our own thinking, and we don't even realize that we do it. And they exist until we call them out, right? And so tonight, we're just going to be aware that there is one. You don't have to put judgment on anything, right? We're just gonna be aware. All right, so that's the first thing. Below the line, I want you to think of everything that lives below that line is your mindset, okay? That's how we think, it's what our operating system runs on, okay? And the question for yourself, not to write down, but just to think it through, what lives there for you? Are you filled with joy? Are you filled with encouragement? Are you filled with confidence? Or are you filled with doubt and fear? right? What are the things that live there? Not, not something to write down, but just to be cognizant of, okay? What happens in our life is above the line, okay? 
Okay, so all the stuff that happens up here, this is the part that's visible for everybody else to see. That's the place where, you know, success happens or failure, right? It's where growth happens. It's where sadness happens. It's where challenges happen. It's where all the things happen, okay? So what we're gonna do is I want you to think of, we're gonna draw some things out and I want you to think of the things as I'm talking through them and then you should be kind of pen to paper, eyes down for most of it. When you're done with each piece, I want you to look up because it'll give me a cue to move on to the next place, okay? So in order for all living things to grow, they need to have a root system, right? And we are no different than that, okay? So we must be grounded in our beliefs and the beliefs find strength in gratitude. So tonight's talk is all about growth through gratitude. And I'm going to take you through that exercise. Okay. So from a place of gratitude, all great things can, we're going to draw some roots. Okay. So we're going to start with some squiggly lines going down from that line. Okay. And inside of those squiggly lines, I want you to write your belief systems. Okay. And this is personal to everybody. So some examples are, I believe in the work that we're doing right? And this is all, of course, business related that we're talking tonight. I believe that people are strengthened when they consume juice bless. Okay. Does anybody have any others that they can, any examples? What came to mind first for you that they want to share with us? I believe that this is the best network marketing business out there. There you go. I'm so I'm on I'm on uh, not I'm eating so that's why I'm not doing my video on. <laughs> all good, all good, right? How about I believe that the world needs what we have to offer, right? Where were we making those squiggly lines? <laughs> so we're talking Sorry, about I'm a bad student. <laughs> well, that's okay. We're talking about a root system, okay? Mm -hmm. So think of the roots coming down from the line, right? Can you see that? And inside of there, you want to leave just enough room to kind of draw in some thoughts. Okay. And Melissa, this is all juice plus related, right? Yeah. We're talking about our business here. Okay, good. Thanks. Okay. I believe in a healthy foundation. Awesome. I believe I'm in the right place at the right time. Love it. I believe that corporate has our backs. Oh, I love that. Yes. hundred percent agree. I believe that our team along with our company set us up for success. I was going to say, I believe we are supported. Mm -hmm. I believe every family needs Juice Plus. How about I believe in my ability to make money? I believe in my ability to change lives. I believe that I can have a life I never dreamt of before. These are great, you guys. We offer hope. I believe in myself. I believe we all have greatness within us. I believe I'm in the right place at the right time. Eyes are up, I know to move on. I believe we make an impact. I love it. There you go, Jennifer. I believe because of the effect it's done for me. Perfect. How about I believe in the power of my story? Right? We all have a story. Okay. The next step of this is now around the squiggly lines, we're going to write what we're grateful for. So we've, we've established our belief system, but that belief system needs to be really set in a place of gratitude. So think of the gratitude space as your soil. It has to have healthy soil, right? So you want to pack in as many pieces of gratitude as you can. The things that you're grateful for. I'm grateful for my team. I'm grateful for the education. You can just write simple words, not full sentences, personal growth, income, 
I'm grateful for time flexibility. Right? You want to build all that in around. You want to pack it so it's nice, packly, you know, densely packed earth all the way around those roots. Oh, this was. So where are we writing this, Melissa? <laughs> in so in the open spaces around the roots. Ah, got okay. it. So we're gonna fill it in around there. I'm such a bad art art student. I already screwed the whole thing up. <laughs> I'm, you I'm said with things that we're grateful yeah, for. Yeah, things that you're grateful for with regard to your business and this experience. So Heidi's got this knock out of the park. No, I don't, Sheila. <laughs> so I want you to share some of those too. So as we're going, you know, the more the more collaborative this is, the better. I'm grateful for all the people I met and continue to meet. I'm grateful for my friendships and the fact that I have a team that allows me to um, be me and allows me to lead. I'm grateful for the support and the flexibility. I'm grateful for the personal development. I'm grateful to be able to help other people do what I do. Grateful for mentorship. I'm grateful for the grateful. support of the community. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful I have Melissa as a leader. <laughs> I'm grateful, grateful for all the resources we have. Dear encouragement. Grateful for my Wonder Woman. I'm <laughs> grateful for our time flexibility. I'm grateful for the strangers that you meet along this path. I'm grateful that I can help families who feel stuck like I did years ago. I'm grateful for I'm, my friends and my health. I'm grateful that I married into it. <laughs> Smart. That's the best one. He wins the prize. <clears throat> I'm grateful for all the friends that I've made. I'm grateful I finally said yes. <laughs> I'm grateful for the leadership opportunities. How about the tough stuff too? And I'm, I'm being grateful for the time. This is, this is kind of a call to challenge for you guys. You don't have to say it out loud if you don't want to, but there's been tough stuff that happens too. This business is not all rosy and shiny, but the end result is accumulation of all of it. But there have been things, you know, like I had three POB sales coordinators in my first year in the business setting up for NMD status and they all left within two months of each other. And you know why I'm grateful that they left is because I learned and I got better. And when I rebuilt, it came stronger, right? So there's tough stuff that happens too. And don't forget that we have to find gratitude in the things that strengthen us, right? So take a minute and write those things down too. I'm grateful, grateful for the for challenges the that have been placed before me. I'm grateful for the tears of joy. I'm grateful for some of my canceled customers because <laughs> they were a pain in the you know what. <laughs> <laughs> my team have dropped off. <laughs> Like Wendy Campbell says, be grateful for the ones that stay and be grateful for the ones that go, right? Mm -hmm. I'm grateful that we have a self-filtering system. Uh -huh. I'm, gra I'm, I'm grateful to start for over. I am grateful for all the traveling that I've done that for conferences because otherwise I would have just stayed at home. That is a real big blessing of this business, isn't it? I love that too. <clears throat> I'm grateful for the time and space to live my life how I need to and how, and how I want to. I'm grateful for crucial conversations. Two more. I'm grateful for the connection with people that I have never met before and an opportunity to reach out and share with them. I'm grateful for my customers who give me challenging questions. I'm grateful for the babies that have been born on my watch. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the line. Okay. We're going to go straight back to that, that line and we're going to draw up and we're going to create a trunk. Okay. So it's going to look something like this. You want to leave enough room above it. So about, you know, it takes up about a third of the page. Okay. You want to draw. 
So we're going to come back to that piece, okay? So the next piece above that, okay, so this should be the top third of your page, is we're going to draw branches. And I want you to have branches. Each branch represents a sales coordinator that's on your team. Okay, direct to you. The smaller branches that spring off from those sales coordinator um, branches, those are the team members that they have. So it doesn't have to be accurate, but draw, kind of get a picture, right? If you've got one, then you draw one. If you have two, you draw two, you kind of look at it, okay? Now, if you don't have any sales coordinators on your team, I want you to draw them anyway with the anticipation that we're gonna fill that, okay? So let's draw some branches. And it could start off looking something like that. Now I want you to hold up your sheet. I just want to see visually what you guys are looking at. You're just showing me because I'm the only one that can really see you. Okay, good. All right. I'm going to keep them up. Hold on for a second. Let me take a look. Okay. Let's see. Okay, good. All right. Awesome. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. Now, the interesting thing about this is that these branches, right? So we all grew that. Are they in proportion to the piece at the bottom for you? Take a look at your paper. Do you have more things filled in the bottom than you do on the top? A lot of people did, right? The difference between those two things matching or not is your activity. Okay. I want you to like let that sit for a second, okay? So um the smaller branches, okay, so then now what we're going to do is we're going to draw in the leaves, okay, so the leaves, so fill in the names if you have names that fall into those branches, and if not, you're going to leave them open, and the leaves that are going to go around there, I want you to think of those leaves as your customer base, so every time there's customers on the little branches, right, those are coming off as offspring that may be three or four levels down, the, um, um, uh, Leslie had a question, hold on, I'm going to read it out. Um, the difference between the top and the bottom is the difference if they're not balanced, like a tree in nature, okay, has the same <laughs> amount of space on the bottom as it does on the top, right? And the difference between how this shows up for you in this exercise is if you have less on the top than you do on the bottom, the difference in here is your activity. Okay, activity breeds results. You can have all the gratitude in the world, but if we don't take steps of action, then it doesn't get to the top where the tree can grow and flourish. Does that make sense? You see that? Okay. Were, we, were we putting in um, just the sales coordinators or, or below sales coordinators too? Well, I mean, play with it, right? Okay. So kind of grow, grow your tree. But the whole concept is that this tree is, is representative of the health of your business and who and what your business is, right? So we start from this place in the bottom. Sometimes if some people are short on the bottom part, right, in the gratitude section, that's usually the first place you want to feed because that's the part that will bubble up into activity. It'll give you things to talk about. It'll give you action, inspiration for actions, right? And those activities and the ac actions that you take, that's gonna generate more growth on the top of the tree. Does that make sense? Right? So the whole point is to start at the bottom and have it grow up to the top. So the leaves become your customers. So you wanna have a healthy, so it's important if you have a barren tree, if you have a lot of team members, but you have no leaves, your tree isn't healthy, right? 
same representative for your business, okay? Okay. Now, inside the leaves, what I want you to write, so remember, the leaves are representative of your customer base, and inside the leaves, I want you to write one thing that this business has afforded you or one thing that you want it to afford you. So you're drawing leaves and inside the leaves, you're writing out the things that you want your business to afford you or writing out things that are representative that have already happened. Maybe it helped you buy a new car. Maybe it pays for private school. Maybe it gives you fun money to go get your nails done every month. Maybe it pays for organic groceries, right? What are the things that this business does for your life, right? And what do you want it to do for your life? And write those inside the leaves. This is the least I've ever talked on a training call. <laughs> but hopefully this is gonna give us something to look at at the end that'll make sense. Does anybody wanna share some of the things that the business has given or done for you? <clears throat> Making an extra mortgage payment every month. Yeah, might, might help us get through a lot of medical bills when my kids were really sick. The ability to be home and homeschool my daughter. Hope. New car. Paid for my granddaughter's gymnastics every month. Help pay for part of my mortgage. Pay debt. More dinners out with my husband. Helps me pay for my Juice Plus products for my family. I have a paycheck even when I go to Africa for a month with my husband on mission work. Help to buy my tower garden. To I don't have to work for somebody else. Left in the UK. Longevity. Long kids. Okay, now, now a couple of things that you wanted to do. What are some things that you want this business to do for you? Remodel my parents' house. Freedom. Make sure my grandsons have a college education. Retirement income. Financial security. New home. Live overseas and do my business. Love that. My own paycheck. Yes. Give More back. Travel. Travel. Multiple Give back. Different countries. <clears throat> Buy Tesla. Yeah. See, that was good. So be specific. If, the, if somebody said give back, be specific in how you want to give back. Make sure you write that in. How do you want to give back? Right? What does that look like for you? So you want to get these, these pieces of it are really important because you want to be able to look at this and have like a treasure map. Like these are the things that are going to guide you, right? This is what I'm working for, right? These are the things that I'm aspiring to achieve. It's, it creates that fire inside, you know, when you see them on paper in front of you, and I'm going to encourage you guys that when we're done, I want you guys to make these really pretty the coloring them in and you know maybe you even redo it on a separate paper now that you have the exercise and you know what to do and frame it and keep that close and watch it watch it come to life right um okay so the next part of this is that when we look at this um the, the last piece of the tree is the trunk right and so we were going to come back to that so the trunk is us right that's the part that's us so inside of us what's in our control really. We can control two things. Anybody know? Our attitude. Mm -hmm. Activity. Activity. 
right? Our attitude and our actions are a few things that we have full control over that nobody can take away from us. So the attitude and the actions, those are the things that really need to, we, we worked on mindset below. We identified the things that, you know, that make us who we are and that really are representative of what we're working with behind the scenes, right? Behind that invisible line. But the inside piece, the action piece, the action, like I said before, that's gonna be the delivery system to get the nourishment up to the leaves, right? So what are the actions you can take in your business to do that? What are some high paying activities? You know, you guys get really well trained in this. So just- Three-way connection calls. There you go. Events. Events. Good customer follow-up. Mm -hmm. What are some other ones? Be on training calls, growth. Social media. Thank you, notes. Right, building relationships, I would say, is a big one. Talk to people, get out of your house. Touches, right, touches. How many touches can you make, right? How many touches in a week? How many touches in a day? Your Thank DMO. you, notes. Wait, hold on, say it again, there were two of them. Your DMO. DMO, so be granular, be specific. These are things that are gonna guide you, right? So inside of the <coughs> What does that look like? For me, it's a power hour. I need a power hour that I can have every single day where I knock out a bunch of stuff. It makes me feel good, right? I feel accomplished. I can pack a lot of stuff in there. They're all high paying things. Writing, yeah, when your team Z dashboard says 100%. <laughs> there you go, right? <laughs> yeah. Participating with team and in team events and just being connected with your team. A huge piece and we'll come back to that too but these are the, the actual action steps that you can take how about meeting new people adding to your funnel this is the biggest mistake that people make is that they stop there they just work with what they have they keep the pool safe and sound and then they never expand out there when you take the steps to increase and actively increase your now your it's basically you're building your audience if you build that practice into your business Every day you add two new people to your list every day to talk to at some level at some point, right? Or five people, whatever the number is, depending on how big your goals are. That's a huge piece of it. Okay, we're almost at the end here. Now there's two things that we need in addition to what we've drawn out and sketched out to make this tree healthy, right? There's two things that we need. For it to thrive over time, we need two things. What does a tree need? The two things that it needs to thrive. Water and sun. Water and sun. Okay. I want you to draw sun somewhere on the page. The sun is your inspiration. Okay. The sun is, the sun could be, you know, the God you pray to. The sun could be, for me, for many years, that was my father. The harder I worked this business, the more I believed he could stay alive. Truly. Really. You know? Um, the son could be a daughter that you're working so hard to support to be able to be home and love her in the way that you want to. It could be a parent that you want to take care of. It's your inspiration is your son. Okay? Write that in there. And the water, we talked about it a little bit in the trunk section, but it really falls into this section more. The water is your connection. That's your connection to the team. That's your connection to home base, right? The more connected people are to this experience and their team and the wins and the losses and the life events, the longer they stay engaged, the further they go and the more successful they are. Would you agree, Nikki? Absolutely. It's the connection more than any other business or any other group of people doing something together. The number one thing that creates success for people sure. is connection. So I want you guys to take some time with this, you know, now that we're kind of through it, right? You can see how the pieces come together. Remember, your belief system is what roots you. Your gratitude is what grounds you and supports your growth, okay? The trunk is the actions that you take in the process of building this business. And what sprouts from that is your team and the expansion and the customer base that it brings, right? 
inside that customer base as it continues to grow, because you could sign up 20 team members and have no customers and your paycheck would be pretty sad, right? But the customers are the lifeblood of what we do. And inside of those, they're representative <coughs> of what this business is going to be able to afford you in your life, the blessings that it will bestow upon you, right? The sun is going to be your inspiration. So everybody's got to plug into something in that space because the tree needs that to keep going, right? And the water is the connection to your team. And if you can keep those things in perspective for your life and your business and fill in the gaps where maybe it looks a little bit weaker in some areas than others, then you'll be able to grow a healthy and sustainable business. And the longer you stay, the bigger it grows, just like a tree. Right? With that, I love you guys. Happy wow. Thanksgiving. I am so thankful for everybody on this team. Thank you very much. That was, that was a beautiful, beautiful facilitation. That was amazing. Yeah, really sweet. I love the yeah. facilitation. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Great visual. So Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's incredible. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a, have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. We, will, we are still having our Take Healthy Back call tonight. We're still having our Take Healthy Back call on Saturday morning because we've got people on our team that are getting people on all these calls. Abby is doing amazing. She had 10 new people on calls this week at all the events they've been putting on. So I'm going to encourage you even over the holidays. And be grateful for the fact that we can do them and love you all so much. So happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Night. Thank you so much. Good job, girl. Amazing facilitation. Really, it was just yeah. fun and I could even do it. <laughs> Very important to me. Love you, Melissa.